To be totally honest, I am tickled and amazed with the response that this game got. Well, I'm here to deliver. I saw it was requested, so that's what I'm doing. This is the Sunday, the day after I got some feedback on the update episode. So, here you go. I'm doing it. Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door. At least two of five regular commenters suggested it. So, I'm pretty sure you guys missed the Darkful 99 playthrough. I recall this Let's Play as being one of my greatest voice acting endeavors. So, I really enjoyed it. It's one of my favorite video games. I think once upon a time it was my favorite video game. And it's definitely up there, probably in my top seven at least. Maybe top five even. So, it's great. This is about, all about a town that s got struck by a great cladicl cladicl cataclysm and fell into the ground. And this land happens to be the very land where our entire adventure is going to take place. So I figured I'll just take the time to tell you after, you know, seeing the update and all that, I decided that for this Let's Play, today I'm going to give you two episodes because A, you guys deserve that, and B, Paper Mario 2 is a long game. So I'm going to make this the weekend Let's Play. So Saturday and Sunday, expect two episodes of Paper Mario. So that'll be four total back to back. And I think this will tie in well with Luigi's Mansion and Mortal Kombat, so that when the week is all done, cumulatively you're going to get Luigi's Mansion, four episodes, four episodes of Mortal Kombat, and four episodes of Paper Mario 2. And that'll be great, uh, even when Luigi's Mansion or Mortal Kombat reaches its end, I can move Paper Mario 2 to a weekday time slot, and then we can see what goes on from there. Anyway, we're going to see Peach. She is on vacation. That's, pro that's actually pretty impressive. She actually scored a vacation without anyone on her back. That's hard for a princess to do. See? It's stifling. So yeah, this town doesn't seem like it's for her. Rogueport isn't the nicest place. In fact, I believe it's rife with crime. I think that's one of the appeals of it. It looks like that kind of town anyway. Ooh, boutiques. Yes, you, Missy. All right, she's got knickknacks and doodads. Oh, well, this isn't sketchy at all. You know, it's not like you decided to open up your very small business by a guillotine, or <laughs> that's not a guillotine, that's a, that's the gallows. It's a noose. Ooh, magic box. Legendary treasure sleeps in this box. So, if you guys are getting sketch vibes from this, you're not alone. This is quite sketchy. And you can see she can't open it. Nobody can open it. At least that's what they say. This ain't a scam at all. She doesn't look sketchy. That mouse doesn't look sketchy. That whatever the fuck doesn't look sketchy. That Goomba doesn't look sketchy. Heck, even Peek, Pe Peek, Peach looks a little conspicuous herself. Now, can you open it? Can you open it, Missy? She should have asked some random stranger if he could open it, and then he would be like, whoa. I mean, that, that box totally was magic, and Peach could only be the one to open it. Nothing happened to her whatsoever. Nothing happened. At all. Promise. Anyway. This is Paper Mario, The Thousand Year Door. We're gonna get right on into it. Loading the save file. Wonderful. And I tried recording this intro a while back and I kept skipping the intro cutscene and I thought that would be fine so I just continued with the recording and I realized that wasn't a good idea. So anyway, I deleted one of these four Davids and so here we are with a new game. And well, let's just, let's, let's just stay true to form, eh? Uh, I did this the first time I played this game, and I I can't not do it again. I did it the second time I played it as Darkful99, so all caps, David away. La -di -da, -di da Let's do it. Progress saved. And yes, I know this is a lengthy RPG, but sorry, 10 minutes. That's just the way it works on this channel. So, here we are at the house of Mario. Further proof that Mario is in fact their last names, otherwise Mario is, an, Mario is an egocentric bastard and Luigi's just 
a pushover, but I think we knew both of those things. Might be that case, actually. So, there's Paracarry, and the only time he's ever gonna be in the game. But, take that mail, and we'll find new adventures! Hey bro, check it out. A letter from Pizza's Pizza arrived for you. I always make him sound Hispanic. I don't try to. Alright, so he's just gonna read it. Ahem. Now let's see here. Oh, Luigi. Hello there, Mario. I'm now on holiday, traveling the Mushroom Kingdom. In my travels, I came in possession of a mystical map. A treasure map, actually. It was inside a box I got from an old merchant in a town called Rogueport. This isn't what Princess Peach sounds like at all, but since it would be too difficult for me to try and find that treasure all by myself, I thought you could help me hunt for it. You will, of course, won't you? I've included the map with the letter, so please bring it with you when you come. Alright, so this already looks a little sketchy. She wouldn't say, you must come. Besides, Peach wanted some alone time, didn't she? I'm sure she wanted alone time for Mario too. If she wanted to escape with Mario, I'm pretty sure it wouldn't have been hard. Alright. Besides, she escapes with Bowser under the rug so many times already. So, that's a beautiful map. I actually always did like the, you know, basically the world of this entire game. I always liked how it, the map looked. The art style is really interesting. It's so much more polished compared to Paper Mario 1. And that game's fantastic too. I actually never let's play it at Darkful 99, but one day I might. I've been kind of getting a hankering to play that game again. So maybe I will, but not anytime soon because I don't want to overload you with Paper Mario. And it's got like this really cool like tongue-in-cheek art style, like the doodle sun up there. And the water effects look pretty nice as well. The prologue. So we see an interesting symbol, Mario, Peach, and Bowser. Is Bowser in this game? I wonder. Anyway, so a rogue's welcome. I wonder if I'm going to actually get to play the game in this first episode. Excuse me, sir. Please wake up, sir. The town you have been speaking of is coming to view. Look, that's Rogue Park. Alright, so we have very strange looking eyelids, if that's the case. Although everything's made of paper in this world, so it would make sense. You say we'll arrive shortly. Please prepare to disembark. I think I've changed this man's voice four times. I don't even know what he looks like. Okay, so welcome to the only place, like, this is where it starts. This game does not take place in the Mushroom Kingdom. It takes place in the world or country surrounding Rogueport. So, rough weather delayed us, and now we're gonna enter Rogueport, where apparently is surrounded by sordid tails. Ain't that great? You know, it's not like there's a gallows in the middle of the town square. That'd be creepy. And they really play up the paper effects in this game more than they ever did in Paper Mario 1, and I really like that. So, welcome to Rogueport. We can jump, and we have this wah sound. Oi, welcome to Rogueport. Bit of nasty place, eh? You got guts coming, eh? You look a bit green, so I'll be better by my... Ba -ba 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 -ba. Expect that a lot. I, I'm gonna trip over the voices a lot. Alright, so let's save the game. Because why not? Uh, we're gonna get used to doing this. That's gonna, how, that's gonna be how I mark most of the end of these episodes. So hopefully I'll find them. Alright, princess in a pink dress. Is she your girlfriend? Oh, your money? Yeah, so you can tell there's a, a bit of a sketch vibe going on with this town, but I love this town. I mean, it, it has a very interesting sense of personality. Uh, that basically means it's crime-ridden, so. so. These creeps are messing with this girl, ba 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 firebrand, la da 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 da. And this man's name is Lord Crump, I love his name. He's like a big fat man, and he looks like Wario. He reminds me so much of Wario. I always thought he was. Huff hoof harf harf harf. Move your ever loving bones. Wait, is, is he about to do something? I'm pretty sure he's not about to do something. He, that guy just said something about having a, an extra life, which is awesome. Alright, have it out with the missus. Everyone's a pirate, or a thief, or a scoundrel of some sort. So, I, I like it a lot. This game has a lot of personality. Whoa. What do you think you're doing, chump? You think you can screw up my plans? And Mario just found himself in the middle of something stupid. 
It's always something. Looks like I'm gonna have to give you a little taste of the old crump -a bomb And yay, first battle is a thing. And I can't flee this flight. This... Flee this fight. Battle time, Mr. Man! Just find a way to beat this freak of the week, okay? I'll do that, Goombella, in the next episode. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time.